I just love the beaches in Rio, which I find simply irresistible. They offer miles of sun-dredged sand, spellbinding waves, they wash up on the shore, and endless hours of people watching. They attract sun worshippers, joggers, surfers, and sports lovers of all kinds. The Rio beaches function as community centers for city's residents who often prefer to live close to a beach. So it was not surprising when Leticia Schwartz, a Rio-born cooking teacher and author, suggested we meet at Ipanema Beach and go jogging before starting a food tour. She's the author of My Rio de Janeiro, a cookbook. We made sure to do our stretches and warm-ups. And we've started our run. Afterwards, we did what most cariocas like to do in Rio after jogging. We headed to a juice bar. This is one of my favorites. I actually studied right here. I used to come when I was in college. And this is really part of the Rio dynamic, the rhythm, you know. We, we go to the beach and then we drink juice. It's all over the country. It's been here for decades and decades. And, and it's really part of the culture. What kind of I like papaya, like? I like mango, uh, coconut. Oh, they have one great for you. It's called Alegria. Let's, let me order that for you. Okay, amigo. For juice lovers, Rio is a dream destination. You will find juice bars on nearly every street. Tropical fruits line the walls, offering endless varieties of juices. Obrigado. Obrigado. Cheers. To help. To, to the run did we eat today, right? Exactly. I loved it. That was good. Mm -hmm. So what's next? So I can't wait to take you to Confeitaria Colombo and I'll give you a tour of the sweets in Brazil. I'm all with you. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> On our way to Colombo, we made a short stop at one of Leticia's favorite chocolate stores. So this is Copenhagen and I remember back in the 80s, this was kind of like the only game in town. Well, so it already existed, right? Yes, yes. Oh and I God. grew up eating this cookie called Nya Benta. And I used to love coming here. My parents used to take me here. And this was, you know, the holiday cookie. All right. Let me see if we can try one. Okay. Amigo, você poderia dar uma Nya Benta pra gente? And it's really like a... a Almost like a Maria's cookie or a cracker. You feel like a kid. Isn't it so good? It does remind me of my childhood right? too. We have that kind in France too. Do you? It's delicious, the meringue, right? The chocolate. And there's a cookie on the bottom. Yeah. I love it. In the center, they have a little, that chocolate too? I think it's, yeah, I like a jam. I yep. I really like this. I'm glad we came here. Yes, I am too. So should we go to Colombo now? We should. Absolutely. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> After Copenhagen, Leticia took me to Rio's most famous and historic tea house, Confeitaria Colombo. With stunning architectural details, this 100-year-old tea house is known for its elegant and regal old world charm. It was located in the heart of city's pedestrian shopping mall in the central district, a popular tourist destination. Leticia, I'm absolutely blown away with the place. Isn't I mean, it's it beautiful? unbelievable. I mean, I can't believe my eyes, right? Right? right. The mirrors, the glasses, the furniture. It takes us so back in time, right? Exactly. And, uh, and as a Carioca, we really love to come here, you know. So really the locals tea. are coming here, right? Exactly. Exactly. I can tell. And wait until you try the foods. I think that's going to be amazing. I think we should so go. So let's do it. <laughs> okay. So 
I used to work downtown in my previous years and uh, right out of college I used to come down here just to eat a foliado, which is a cheese and ham pastry. Well, that sounds really good. Yeah, so yeah, you have to try I one. I have to try that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That People think Colombo is only famous for sweets, but there are also savory, yes, right? a lot. And another very classic one is the coxinha de galinha. It's chicken, right? Exactly. I love those little tartlets here, right? It's also very iconic. Empada de galinha. Empada, yeah, yeah. All like right. empanada. That's right. Right. That's right. right. So much fillings. Uh -huh. Cheese, cheese with chicken, cheese without chicken, shrimp. And, I'm uh, getting hungry. <laughs> and let's go see some sweets. And they have sweets too, right? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> let's go see them. There was a lavish display of delicious and delicate pastries. I could see both the French and Portuguese influence in them. They also had the famous Brazilian treat, Brigadeiros. Are those signature cookies? They are signature. It's kind of like a cracker. I remember years ago just coming to a dinner party and bringing a tin you of those. You grew up on it? Yes, yes. All right. We picked a combination of both French and Portuguese desserts no, to sell. After we placed our orders, we sat down in the dining room. We were ready to try Leticia's favorite, the yeah. cheese right. and ham puff pastry. Oh, it's, it's so good and you, you get the flakiness of the puff pastry right that really makes it happen right it's absolutely amazing right and cheesy and at the, the same cheesy, time cheesy that creamy part right yeah absolutely yeah it's wonderful this place used to be frequented by kind of like Brazilian celebrities for example former presidents used to come here and uh, musicians so it really created this aura. If I wouldn't see the pastry and I just look around, it's like an old place in Europe, right? Yes. Why don't we try this one, which is the chicken empanada. And we can try that. They're Brazilian, right? Mm. Just by so eating it, I think you feel the experience, right, which is behind the place. Mm -hmm. But this I know after we had the savory, I tell you, I'm really very excited when it comes to pastries Let's because the place them. is famous for pastries, right, right? Right. So which one should we start first? Why don't we try with this pastel Santa Clara, which right. is Portuguese sweets. Yeah. Portuguese sweets really takes us back to the 15th and 16th century, back in the convents where nuns used to prepare those sweets. Do you see that all of them are very much based on eggs and eggs yolk, egg yolks? And that's because the egg whites were used to clarify wine. And so the nuns were left with these yolks. And what are they going to do with them? Sweets and sweets and more sweets. But you say, I really want to try that one, right? That's kind of a kinding, right? It reminds me when we used to live here. Right. Again, egg yolks, coconut and, and sugar, right? So delicious, right? It's as remembered. I just love it. And so you lived here for how long? For two years. And we loved it. We totally loved it. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>